Hello, my name is Anil Rajendra. I am a cardiac electrophysiologist with uh, Alabama Cardiovascular Group at Grandview Medical Center. Uh, I wanted to talk to you today uh, very briefly about a uh, relatively new uh, device for uh, helping patients with heart failure um, hopefully feel better. Uh, heart failure is a, um, uh, is a disease that affects a very large uh, uh, patient population in, in cardiology. Uh, it can cause extreme symptoms uh, and uh, severely affect patients' quality of life uh, where they can't do much activity and they get very short of breath uh, even with minimal activity. Uh, there's this new, new device in the heart failure world called Barostim Neo device. This is actually not a new device. It's been, a, it's been around uh, for a number of years in the treatment of hypertension or high blood pressure. However, recently it's, kind of, it's entered the, the realm of heart failure uh, management. Uh, and this is a uh, small device that is uh, implanted through a procedure uh, to uh, where an electrode is implanted to the carotid artery in the neck on the outside of the artery, not actually in the artery, but on the outside of the artery. And then there's a small little device that is, uh, that is implanted under the collarbone. Um, and this device then sends impulses to that carotid artery to these receptors in the body called baroreceptors. And these receptors monitor the, the blood pressure and heart rate in, in the body and then send out hormones to adjust that, uh, the body's blood pressure and, and, and heart rate. And in patients with heart failure, oftentimes they have an excess of hormones, uh, of these hormones in their body. And these hormones can actually be counterproductive in heart failure patients. Uh, and so this Barostim Neo device uh, will stimulate these baroreceptors to then kind of trick the body into thinking it's doing better than it is and decrease the secretion of these hormones so the body can, so the heart can actually function better. Uh, and uh, there is a clinical trial that was done investigating this Barristim Neo device in heart failure patients. And that clinical trial showed that patients that were implanted with the Barristim Neo device uh, actually did better in terms of quality of life uh, as measured by a questionnaire as well as their exercise tolerance as measured by the distance they could walk over six minutes. In that clinical trial, embarrassed and neo patients were compared to patients that were just treated with medicines, which is the standard care of care currently. And, it, and as I said, the patients with the Barrist and Neo device actually did better uh, than the patients that were just remained on medicines alone. Uh, that clinical trial is still ongoing actually, uh, and uh, hopefully soon we'll wrap up all the follow-up and we'll know further if, they, if the patients with the Barrist and Neo device are actually able to live longer than patients treated with, uh, with medicines alone. Very eager to find out the results of the uh, final results of that uh, clinical trial. Uh, but for, some, for a lot of patients with advanced heart failure that have been on medicines and continue to have symptoms where they're not able to do a lot of activity and their quality of life is, that, uh, is uh, adversely affected, the Barristim Neo device may be an option uh, to help, uh, help improve their quality of life and, act, and may actually improve their, their exercise tolerance as well. Uh, if you have more questions or would like more information, you can contact our office at 971-7566 uh, and uh, we can uh, uh, provide more information about uh, the device and see if you're a candidate for the device as well.